The Democratic Republic of Congo is a country in Central Africa with a population of approximately 70 million inhabitants. Following a series of consecutive wars that destroyed both social and economic structures, the country has since the year 2001 been in a state of slow recovery. Despite this context, some progresses have been achieved as a result of political and economic reforms. The participation of local and international partners, including the civil society and the resilience of the population. Social structures offering quality services could be seen in and around the country. However, the majority of the population live in poverty and the coverage rate of essential social services remain very low. 86% of children of 11 years do not complete the primary education cycle. The low level of education of mothers, the poverty level of the population and the school environment are some factors explaining only 28% of children are registered in the civil registration office. Birth registration is not yet a common practice in the country. Population ya kenge bazo ye bate ni ni ya registrema ya mwan bazo ye importance tangote a dire vrai. Puisque zo tambo la quartier nyon so ya kenge a veni par a veni parcel par parcel papa na zo constater nanda ko moko quatre enfants cinq enfants sept enfants sans enregistrer. Si c'est in 2011, there were 465,000 deaths of children under 5 years old in the URC, the third highest number in the world. Malaria, pneumonia, diarrhea and malnutrition, preventable diseases were the main causes of this high number of deaths. This situation is primarily caused by a lack of financial resources, leading to late consultations by parents, the frequent stock out of drugs in health centers and as a result of some not favorable behaviors. Within this problematic context, DRC adopted in 2012 an innovative approach called Decentralized Monitoring for Action. Through this approach, local communities will be better equipped to solve some of the challenges they face in regards to health, child protection and education services. This approach is based on the active participation of communities in analyzing problems related to access, utilization and quality of essential social services. A local action plan is later developed and implemented and the evaluation of the processes made is conducted in a participative manner. Cette approche est plus souple et basée surtout sur des faits réels puisqu'ici nous ne partons pas seulement des données sanitaires qui sont dans la voie administrative mais nous avons aussi les données qui reviennent ou qui relèvent de la communauté directement à travers l'enquête que nous menons. Le monitorage actuel tel que nous le, le faisons, c'est un monitorage simplifié. Nous avons mis en place les enquêtes rapides. Les enquêtes se, se, se mènent dans la communauté. Et dans la communauté, nous sommes à même de vérifier les pratiques dont les, les mères ou les enfants ont bénéficié the goal of this process grounded within communities and based on social services is to improve the living conditions of children, especially the most deprived. Five health zones were selected for the pilot phase, Banzangungu, Mikalai, 
Chilenge, Kiroche, and Kenge. We are in Kenge, 267 kilometers away from the megapolis of Kinshasa, health district of Kwango in the province of Bandundu. The pilot phase of decentralized monitoring for action began in the month of February 2012. Coordinated by the Ministry of Public Health, the pilot phase was conducted in five stages. This stage consists of briefing the health zone team, staff of the civil registration offices and health centre nurses on the simplified data collection and analysis tools. Data is being collected within communities, health centres, civil registration offices and schools. Questionnaires are administered to assess the availability, accessibility and utilisation of social services by the community. In collaboration with the Health Zone team, technical and financial partners, Community members identify, analyze and propose solutions to the various problems they face. In Kenge, the analysis process identifies frequent stockouts of medicines, low availability of qualified staff and limited quality of social services as the priority problems to be addressed. To address these problems and on the basis of action plans developed by communities, Essential medicines were procured and distributed in the health centers of Kenge. Health center personnel were trained on varying themes relating to health and nutrition and were equipped with motorcycles to improve the outreach work within hard-to-reach communities. Power of attorney cards for birth registration were made available within maternities and village health committees were restructured and reinstated to strengthen their coordinative and health promotion work. Finally, community health workers were trained on the promotion of healthy behavioural practices with regards to hygiene, infant and young child feeding, maternal and child health and birth registration. Nous avons affaire avec les relais, on les appelle les ponts, qui existent entre les, la population et les, les centres de santé. Nous les forçons, on les instruit, on les éduque. Donc ils sont en train d'aller vers la population pour transmettre, les transmettre tout ce que nous proposons ici. Nous avons fait l'enregistrement de naissance. Il faut qu'il y ait un enregistré de naissance. Il faut qu'il y ait un civil. Il faut qu'il y ait un enregistré de naissance. Il faut qu'il y ait un hôpital. Il faut qu'il y ait trois jours. Après trois jours, il faut qu'il y ait une visite à maman ou à la maternité. Il faut qu'il y ait un enregistré de naissance. Il faut qu'il y ait un enregistré civil à la maternité. Ou bien il y a un enregistrement, au PC document, au salaire enregistrement, il y a un document dans l'état civil. Within the education sector, an advocacy was made at national level to incorporate the decentralized monitoring for action approach within the monitoring and evaluation framework of the education interim sector plan. Overall, the decentralized monitoring for action approach facilitated a greater collaboration between partners and created greater synergies between the works of the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Interior. As a result of corrective actions implemented, the access to and utilization of some social services were improved. In the five health catchment areas of Kenge, the proportion of mothers who declared administering the essential services to their newborns increased from 4 to 13 percent from June to December 2012. Il y a des mamans qui faisaient l'accouchement au niveau de maison. Maintenant, à partir de notre sensibilisation, ils sont en train, ils sont en train d'aller faire les accouchements au niveau de, de l'hôpital général ou bien du centre. Depuis le mois de juillet, bon, je vois qu'à partir que les, les relais surtout ont commencé les activités, les mamans commencent à fréquenter, en tout cas massivement, les centres de santé. Progresses did not only occur in Kenge. The pilot health zone of Chilenge is an eloquent case where within the five health catchment areas monitored, the proportion of mothers of newborns who attended at least four antenatal care visits during the last pregnancy increased 
from 16 to 58 percent. This was due to the formative supervisions of health nurses and the implementation of this service through outreach work. In the child protection sector, within the five health catchment areas of Mikalai, the proportion of children registered in the civil registration office rose from 641% in a time span of five months only. This was a result of the creation of 12 additional secondary civil registration offices and their establishment within maternities. Despite the progresses achieved, some obstacles still persist with regard to access and utilization of social services. We have a petit problem seulement de nous de nous orienter un centre de santé ou fait un site de santé puisque nous, nous nous avons beaucoup de difficultés. Nous avons beaucoup de difficultés pour les soins médicaux. Vu la distance d'ici Makiala et Swabango, c'est très éloigné, puisqu'il y a beaucoup de cas qui nous arrivent ici, tel qu'il y avait une fille qui était morte à cause de la césarienne. Juste quand on est arrivé au niveau de Swabango, la fille est morte. In effect, many questions are still to be addressed. How do we make constant the availability of essential commodities within health centers? How do we address the problems related to human resources, particularly with regards to incentives, high turnover and their capacity to offer quality services? How do we reduce the financial constraints that prevent the continuous utilization of social services by communities? In perspective, this process that puts an emphasis on planning based on the realities faced by the communities will be implemented in other health zones of the country in 2013. This will be done with the aim of significantly improve the development and survival of children, especially the most deprived. Il y a un changement total à partir des relais. Cette initiative, moi, je l'apprécie, puisque il y a des villages assainis. Ces termes n'existaient pas. On nous a appris de, de, de fabriquer même des laves, mais on a compris les choses. Nous sommes même menacés par nos enfants d'acheter un peu de savon, de laver, avant, de laver les mains avant de manger. Si nous venons des toilettes, on lave aussi les mains. Vraiment, c'est une bonne chose. Bah si, parce qu'on peut pas en abandonner. Si vous bongo, bah tu es relé, bah zoké, donc même ça, bah si, na bah ferme, na abandonner. Allez, vous qui ne gagnez pas, na santé de santé. Table au Kwana, vous êtes au salam, t'es si vous êtes au salam. Nous pensons que dans la situation où nous manquons les données sanitaires, et même si on les a, c'est vraiment de façon assez tardive. Donc l'approche de monitoring avec les enquêtes rapides nous permet de palper du doigt la réalité et de prendre des actions correctrices sur des données factuelles, des données réelles, au lieu que ce soit seulement des estimations. Nous croyons à ce processus, nous pensons que ça vient quand même aider un peu à corriger la carence des données du système d'information sanitaire.